Domo, Amejin des. Welcome back to another beginning Japanese lecture. Today, lesson 16, the past tense and two particles, de and to. Um, I realized when I was going back through my assessment one lecture and video, um, I actually put a question on the assessment about the past tense of des, uh, which you should not have known, you weren't um, expected to have known. So I thought, I can't change it. I'll just make it the very next lecture. So we are going to learn about the past tense of verbs today. Recall real quick the negative conjugation of des, uh, which is de wa arimasen or ja arimasen. Okay, is not. Uh, the negative conjugations of mas, you should also know, masen. Very easy. Also, um, it would be good to know vocabulary from lesson 14. Daily routines. Today's key sentence is Kino e toshokan de tomodachi to shukudai o shimashita. Alright, we're gonna learn all about this sentence. Today's vocabulary uh, we have two pages of vocabulary. So here's the first page. The first word is a verb, a new verb. Nani nani o suru. Nani nani o shimas. Suru shimas. This is the verb for to do, a very general verb. Um, you can use it in all sorts of situations. We'll talk a little bit more about it uh, in the next two slides, I believe. And then three drinks. I added three new drinks because I felt that kohi was just uh, too few options for you. So beer is biru. Biru. Coca-Cola, or just cola, uh, or just soda in general, is koda. Koda. I often drank koda in Japan when I was there. Milk, 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 milk. Then uh, homework is shukudai, shukudai. Exercise, as in to exercise your body or to like work out, is undo, undo. The library is toshokan, toshokan, toshokan. Gym, gym, gym. Movie theater, eigakan, eigakan. Friend, tomodachi. Tomodachi, your friend. And then uh, three new frequency words. Itsumo, always. Itsumo, always. Never. Zenzen, zenzen, never. And then sometimes. Tokidoki, tokidoki, sometimes. Um, our two particles, at and with. De and to, respectively. The word for together. Ishoni, ishoni, together. And then the past tense of des is deshita. And then the past negative of des is de wa arimasen deshita or ja arimasen deshita. We'll talk more about that in the grammar section. Uh, shimas is a very general verb. You can attach just a bunch of nouns to it just to make the nouns into verbs to do this noun. So for example, benkyo. Uh, it, benkyo just by itself means study or studying. Benkyo shimas means to study. Okay. Uh, undo by itself means uh, working exercise, like working out. Uh, undo shimas means to exercise. Shukudai shukudai uh, is homework. Shukudai o shimas uh, means to do homework. Shukudai o shimas. Shukudai shimas. Okay. The o is optional. You don't need it. Um, you can get rid of it pretty much every time. Or you can add it. It's That's why I put it in parentheses. It's optional. There are cases where uh, it should be deleted, actually. Uh, and that's when you have o in another place in the sentence. But you don't need to know that for now. Just know that it is optional. Okay. Let's get into the grammar. The past tense. So the polite past tense conjugation of des is deshita. A wa b deshita. A was b. For example, kino wa mokuyoubi deshita. Yesterday was Thursday. Mokuyoubi. And for mas, uh, the past tense goes from mas to mashita. Ikimas, ikimashita. Go went. Tabemas, tabemashita. Eat ate. Nemas, nemashita. Sleep slept. Benkyo shimas. Benkyo shimashita. To study studied. Okay, past tense. 
昨日、あ、昨日じゃなくて、今日、今日、朝ごはんを食べましたか今日、朝ごはんを食べましたか ?Did you eat breakfast today? This morning? All right, and our first activity, activity one, turn each present tense verb into the past tense or vice versa. I have them mixed up out all throughout here.、Um, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one, o k i m a s h i t a woke up. It's past, so the present is o k i m a s h right? o k i m a s h to wake up. Number two, n e m a s to sleep. n e m a s how do you say I slept? ねました。ねました。Right? ます。ました。Number three. ミルクを飲みました。ミルクを飲みました。Drank milk. How do you say to drink milk? ミルクを飲みます。ミルクを飲みます。To drink milk.、Uh, four. 図書館に行きます。To go to the library. I went to the library would be 図書館に行きました。Five, 一時に食べます。えー、I ate at one would be 一時に食べました。食べました。All right. Six, 勉強をします。勉強をします。勉強をしました。Past tense, しました。You did study. Seven, 十、えー、歳です。十歳です。This is this. Uh, the past tense of des is 10歳でした I was 10 years old. 10歳でした10歳でした Number eight. 学校に来ました To come. I came to school. 学校に来ます To come to school. 学校に来ます Number nine. 仕事しました仕事しました仕事します To work. 仕事します。Number 10, last one. 映画を見ます。To watch a movie. I watched a movie. Past tense would be. 映画を見ました。見ました。And here are the answers in bold. So、um, let's also cover the past negative. All right. This is kind of easy because you're just adding でした。<laughs> To the negative conjugation of a verb. So for des, that is de wa arimasen or ja arimasen, and you add deshta to the end. A wa b de wa arimasen deshta. A wa b ja arimasen deshta. A was not b. A was not b. Wasn't b. Okay. Ano ibento a goji ja arimasen deshta. That event wasn't at five o'clock. あのイベントは5時じゃありませんでした。It's kind of long,、um, and when we get to informal verb conjugations, it'll get shorter. But for now, let's, let's use this. <laughs> Activity 2, a nice colorful timeline here. Answer each question regarding Mike's schedule for yesterday. So there's Mike in the corner.、Uh, here's his timeline. Pause the video, try to answer these questions on your own first.、Um, I'm going to answer them right now. Number one, 昨日マイクは図書館に行きましたか図書館に行きましたか Did Mike go to the library yesterday?、Uh, so we're gonna scan and look for the word library, and it is not here, so we can safely say, いいえ、図書館に行きませんでした。He didn't, did not, right? Did not go. 行きませんでした。Alright? Two, マイクは運動しましたか運動しましたか Now, on here, it doesn't say he specifically 運動しました but it does say ジムに行きましたか Right here. ジムに行きましたか So, I'm gonna say yes. はい。マイクは、えー、運動しました。はい。Number three. マイクは十時に何をしましたか何をしましたか Remember, しますは is a general verb to do. What did he do? 何をしましたかマイクは10時に。10時に is 10 o'clock. Here's 10. And he saw a movie. 映画を見ました。So we can say,、えー、マイクは10時に映画を見ました。Or just, 
映画を見ました。<笑> That's fine.Number four, マイクは晩ご飯を食べましたかマイクは晩ご飯を食べましたか、um, ?We're gonna scan for 晩ご飯 The last thing he has is 宿題をしました and 寝ました。No 晩ご飯 So, we're gonna say he didn't. And to say that, what do you say? マイクは晩ご飯を食べませんでした。Remember, you add でした to the negative form of a verb. Here are the answers in bold. More frequency words.、Um, you used to only know あまり and よく and たいて。Now you know the Japanese for never, which is 全然、全然 and always. いつも、いつも。And I threw in 時々、時々 which means sometimes. So, toki doki is like 50%, zen zen is 0%, and itsumo is 100%. Okay?、Uh, and also remember that zen zen and amari require negative verb endings. Okay?、Uh, toki doki can be either negative or positive since it's directly in the middle, 50%. For example, watashi wa toki doki gakko ni ikimasen. Sometimes I don't go to school. That's you know, not really. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> Number two, Kanojo wa zen zen cola o n o m i m a s e She never ever drinks Coke, which is the opposite of me. I always drink Coke. Itsu mo n o m i m a s And next, Iwata san wa zashi o itsu mo y o m i m a s So Iwata is always reading a magazine, always reads magazines. And then someone responds, Ah, so this ka. Do you remember this response? I believe it was, it was a very early lecture. This is a very common phrase as a response to some information people tell you, Ah, so this ka. So this ka. Oh, really? Activity three fill in each sp-、uh, speech bubble with an appropriate frequency word. Notice I said an appropriate frequency word, not the appropriate, because you can do. There can be a few answers for each of these, I believe. Yeah, for some of them, there can be a few answers. So, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm gonna answer this right now. Number one, guy says, Yoku, shigoto shimasu ka? Do you often work?、Uh, and the girl replies, Hai. Frequency word here, shimasu or shigoto shimasu. Um, Now, because she's saying hi to his question, she could be saying, Yes, I often work. Or she could be saying, Yes, and then clarify, I work a lot, or I'm always working, right? So you have th- technically three ans- possible answers for this. She could say, Hi, yoku shigoto shimasu. Or, Hi, taite shigoto shimasu. U- I'm usually working, usually work. Or, Hi, いつも仕事します。I always am working. I always work. So there's three possible answers for that. Number two. 運動大抵しますか Do you usually exercise? Is what she's asking. The guy says, いいえ。<laughs> This is me. いいえ。He's saying no, right? He doesn't usually exercise.、Um, and it wouldn't make sense to say a positive. When you're saying no to start, right? So you're gonna have a negative sentence, which means you're gonna have a negative、uh, frequency word. So you have two options, amari and zenzen, okay? So he could say, ie, amari、eh, undo o shimasen, amari shimasen. Or, ie, zenzen undo o shimasen, zenzen shimasen. Either one of those is fine. Number three,、uh, the guy says, Beer o n o m i m a s ka? Do you drink beer? And she says, Ie.、Yeah. You could just say, n o m i m a s e n That would be fine. Ie n o m i m a s e n But I want you to use frequency words. So、uh, it is a negative, and you have two options. a m m a r i it's like number two, or zen zen. So she could say, Ie,、yeah. zen zen n o m i m a s e n Or, いいえ、あんまり飲みません。ビールを飲
ビールを飲みますか Do you drink beer? うん、いいえあん、あんまり飲みません。No, I don't really drink it. Or no, I don't drink it at all. Okay. Number four. 朝ごはんを毎日食べますか She's asking, 朝ごはんを breakfast 毎日 every day 食べますか Do you eat? Do you eat breakfast every day? The guy says, いいえ、時々。時々。So I'm giving you the frequency word. I want you to conjugate the verb. 食べます。And is it tabemas or tabemasen? Which one is it? Ie, toki doki. Tabemasen. Tabemasen. No, I. Because it starts with a negative word, right? Ie, toki doki. Tabemasen. Sometimes, no, sometimes I don't eat breakfast. Okay? That would be the answer for that. Number five, the last one. The guy says, hon o. いつも読みますか Do you always read books? Are you always reading books? And she could say, she says, はい。いつも読みます。I'm always reading. 本を読みます。いつも。Right? Here are the answers in bold.、Hmm. Now, our last grammar point. で and と。There are two kinds of verbs. Well, in, in one System of classification. There are two kinds of verbs. There are action verbs and there are verbs of being. Action verbs are ikimas, tabemas, benkyo, shimas, okay, shimas. And then verbs of being are just des, all right, des.、Um, with verbs, with action verbs, like ikimas, tabemas, benkyo, shimas, you can use de to indicate a location where the action is performed. So it acts like at in English. To verb at this location would be location de verb shimas. All right. A de v shimas. Mas. For example, toshokan de benkyo shimas. To study at the library. Ie de biru o namimas. To drink beer at home. All right.、Uh, and then to means with. Okay. A noun, usually a living thing, okay, so people or pets,、uh, plus to means with those living things. And usually you see the word isho ni when you're doing an action together with someone. Isho ni means together, okay? A to vi mas, to verb with a. Tomodachi to isho ni, toshokan de benkyo shi. Must to study at the library with a friend. So we're gaining all these different particles or、uh, grammar pieces to help make our sentences larger and help expand what we can say.、Um, to study at the library with a friend. And then the bottom one is to drink beer at home with one's father. Okay. You'll notice that these examples were the same examples as the previous slide, just with. The to part in it. Activity four, answer each question based on the conversation. We've got、uh, two people here, a man and a woman. Let's read the conversation first and then answer the questions. The guy says, Rebecca, よく友達と映画館で映画を見ますか She says, 映画館ですかい,いえ、あんまり映画館に行きません。So he says, Uh, Rebecca, よく友達と映画館で映画を見ますか Do you often go or watch movies at the movie theater with friends? She says, 映画館ですか Usually in Japanese, when people are、um, responding to a question, they repeat some part of that question for clarification. So she's saying, 映画館,映画館ですか映画館ですか、uh, The theater? She's saying, いいえ、あんまり映画館に行きません。No, I don't really go to the movie theater, is what she's saying.、And、the guy says, あ、そうですか。じゃあ、じゃあ means like, well, well then, <laughs> well then. いつ映画館に行きますか When do you go to the movie theater? And she says, 全然行きません。全然行きません。He says, へえ、へえ。That's how you say、uh, those little え。Is after he. He? Like that. So let's answer the questions. Number one, 
彼女の名前は何ですか、uh, Well, we know from the very first, the very first word here, her name is Rebecca. Rebecca です。Rebecca です。Number two, 彼女はよく友達と映画館で映画を見ますか Does she often see a movie at the movie theater with her friends? Well, by her response, we know that the answer is no. いいえ、えー、よくんいや、友達と映画館で絵を見ません。あんまり見ません。Right?、Um, and I'll add even, 全然映画館に行きません。All right. Number three and four are English questions. What is the man's reaction to her final statement? He says, へ、hey? That's a very common Japanese response when you are surprised or startled or shocked by someone's answer. へ、hey? へ、hey? Okay, startled, surprised, shocked. Number four, replace the underlined words with other vocabulary that you know to create a different conversation. So that's why there are underlined words here, okay? Um, you could also, instead of tomodachi, you could say someone's name. Okay, like Joseph. Yoku, Joseph to, or Tanaka san to. Alright? And it doesn't have to be eiga kan, it can be tosho kan, or jimu, or gakko, or ie, right? De, eiga o mimasu ka? This can be any activity, like, benkyo o shimasu ka? Shukudai o shimasu ka? Something like that. All right, and then you would change the answers throughout. Let me know your examples if you come up with some different ones. Here are the answers for these questions, and I threw in some、uh, exampled underlined ones at the bottom.、Mm. We're wrapping up the lesson.、Uh, we're now at activity five, the listening practice. Today, for this lesson, I'm going to read three compositions twice. Listen and write down what you hear. Pause the video if you need more time. I'm starting now with number one. Aka chan wa itsu mo milk o nomimas. Aka chan wa itsu mo milk o nomimas. Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to show the answer right now. Aka chan wa itsu mo milk o nomimas. Okay? Number two. Watashi wa senshu jimu ni zenzen ikimasen deshita. Watashi wa senshu jimu ni zenzen ikimasen deshita. The answer for that one is Watashi wa senshu jimu ni zenzen ikimasen deshita. Last week I didn't go to the gym at all. And number three. 昨日、友達と一緒に図書館で宿題をしました。昨日、友達と一緒に図書館で宿題をしました。The answer for that one is 昨日、友達と一緒に図書館で宿題をしました。Yesterday,、uh, I did homework with my friend at the library, or my friend and I did homework together. At the library. This is what that means. Translation practice activity six. The guy at the top says, Ie de nani o shimasu ka? Nani o shimasu ka? The answer for that one is, What is it? What do you do at home? Ie, Ie de at home, nani o what? Shimasu ka? What do you do? All right. The bottom girl says, His number wasn't. 555-3221. Oh, she got a wrong number. That sucks. Try translating that.、Um, I'm going to show the answer right now. 彼の電話番号は 555-3221 じゃありませんでした。Alright, l this translation、uh, makes sure that you know、uh, the past negative tense of des. Alright? じゃありませんでした。You could also say, ではありませんでした。Alright? But I like, じゃありませんでした。Better. And now back to our key sentence. 昨日、図書館で友達と宿題をしました。Yesterday, you should know now that this means yesterday. 
uh, I did homework with my friend at the library. All right. And uh, now for the homework. What do you do at these different places? What do you do at home? What do you do at the library or school or work or the gym or any place you can think of? What do you not do at these places? Uh, please try to answer all these in full sentences in Japanese. You can post them in the comment section below or just write them down on a piece of paper or in a journal if you're journaling along with these lectures. Just make sure you answer the question, what do you do? All right, and of course, there's a worksheet that goes with this lesson. You can find it at my website, link in the description below. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. It was a really long lecture packed with a bunch of information. I hope it wasn't too much for you guys. Hope to see y'all in a future lecture.